You've asked. You've searched. You've queried. And now I'm here to answer a few questions. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here today. We are going to be talking about the BM 800 condenser microphone and what I have on my setup here. Uh, we have the mic stand, which is from newer as well as a 48 volt phantom power supply uh, from near as well. I've uh, been getting a few questions about the adapter uh, that it comes with the mic boom here. Basically, uh, I had to remove it. I had to hard mount the spider shock mount to the boom itself. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we'll go ahead and work our way up the boom arm here so that you can see how I manage the wire that goes to the condenser microphone. If you notice, there is a couple of zip ties that I've attached to the boom uh, that it works its way up the arm to the scissor. Uh, here you see I've placed three zip ties on the boom itself. We'll work our way down. Here you can start noticing that I have hard mounted the spider shock mount directly to the boom itself. I found a couple of washers that I could space the gap out, tighten it down still allowing movement in the joint there. It uh, works very well for me because I don't need it to swivel at all. Um, also a quick note, make sure that you allow slack in uh, your microphone cable here. If you notice I have a little bit of slack between the zip ties allowing for full range of motion as I stretch the boom in and out. This will guarantee that you will not have uh, kinks, bindings, or a potentially damaged cable. As we make our way down to the 48 volt phantom power supply, you'll notice that the condenser microphone is plugged into the input as the output slot connects into your audio card. Whether you use the audio card in your computer or the audio card that is supplied in the kit is completely up to you. Now I'm not using the standard audio card that came with the phantom power supply. It's directly mounted into my computer. And uh, as you power the 48 volt phantom power supply on, you'll get a nice clear blue LED light signifying that power is in fact on. Now you will notice that once the power is turned off it will take a while for the capacitive charge to come out of the phantom power supply so just give it a little bit of time and the light will dim. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below and as always subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more.